Right, going uphill, but just look in there folks, a whole sea of wild garlic, right the way as far as you can see, a whole sea, blankets and blankets of wild garlic through that wood there. And it smells beautiful and it's all lying in the root, but I'm going up. I'm going up above Axbridge, Axbridge, there's a beautiful oak tree there, absolutely gorgeous, that oak tree. And just like I said, right through there, absolutely beautiful garlic, wild garlic, look at it, you can... Throw your camera right in it. Look. Turn it round. Beautiful, beautiful garlic. And um, if I'm feeling up to it tomorrow, I'm going to get a late... I'll have to walk back as far as hospital anyway. I'm going to get a late... later bus out. For an afternoon walk and I'm going to make my way to Canada Coombe area or Hutton area where I'm going to get um, I'm not going up Windmill Hill I'm going to walk through I haven't decided I might do Windmill Hill and go up round and then down that coombe. Yeah, I'll sort that out tomorrow. Anyway, meanwhile, it just depends how I feel after today. Because I've been doing quite a few walks. Yesterday I did uh, Wilbury Wood Coastal Path. And I was gone three or four hours. But in the shade, it was... It was pleasant, very pleasant. This is going to be hotter, and I believe Sunday will be even hotter. Then there's going to be a change with rain for the rest of the week. So I said to myself, you can't stay in, Sheila. I'm, what I'm doing is saving everything when I get home in the evening, having my dinner, collapsing to rest the body. I'm ready for the next day. But what I do tomorrow, I'll nip up the shop. I'll probably have to nip up the shop on the way back today. Get bread. Get some bread. I'm sure I had enough bread, but not to worry. Um, I'm going very slow at the moment just to avoid indigestion. I knew I shouldn't have ate the banana. The bag feels heavier again. It was light a minute ago. But look at that view. Look at that view over there. Let's take a picture. Right, I'm going to turn off again. Right, after quite a longish climb up, it's, we've got four hours left before we need to get the bus. I've done short Roman steps with head down to get up this last stretch. Uh, that's probably the worst part of the hill for the day, actually, what I've just done now. It ain't really bad, not when you're young, it ain't. <laughs> But basically, I've done short Roman steps. There's something I picked up off some Germans when I was doing the coastal path between Porlock and County Gate. They had this rhythm. They, ne they never exactly talked when we were going along. They followed behind each other, and they were doing like this 
I called them short Roman steps. And it, as they were, it enabled them to go up and down hill easily, especially uphill. So when I think I've got to do a hill and I think, take your time, Sheila, take your time. And then I do it, I do it. Anyway, we're on shoot shelf hill, everyone. I've also, while we, I did stop three quarters of the way up that hill back there, just to have a drink of water, just to catch my breath. I did have a puff on the inhaler, just a little bit, because I was getting a little slightly wheezy. Indigestion, no. And I also use my preventative tick and mosquito and gnat spray and sprayed around my ankles, um, sleeve, top, top sleeves and waistband and my boots, I can wear spray. It's safe for children, this stuff, and it doesn't contain DEET. It hasn't got the poisonous chemical in, but I have got a container of that, which I would use if I got a really bad attack like I had before. Um, but you only use that in extreme cases because I remember when I did have to get them off, I used some very pyrethrin, pyrethrin, something really potent anyway, uh, and I felt ill for about a week, but I got rid of the ticks. I use that in extreme emergencies. I've had that. I don't know if I've had it. I think we might have had it since we went to Malta. I got a feeling I bought it then. I can see my little seat coming up. I think it's still there. Nice seat with beautiful views, everybody. Like I said, this has been videoed before. Look down there. There's Cheddar. There's Cheddar over there. There's the big Axbridge Reservoir. This is Shoot Shelf Hill. I'm on Shoot Shelf Hill. Coming up the lower track. Skirting Axbridge. That's Axbridge down there. Glastonbury Tor is right in front of me behind Nyland Mound but it probably won't come out because it's shrouded in mist but Glastonbury is there I don't know if I got this feeling that it would probably be shrouded all day yeah it's been a very good idea using the Sony for the videos and the Kodak for the photos. Um, like I say, it won't come out. Glastonbury will not come out. It might come out very, very, very misty. I smell of I smell of chemicals but I know it's not chemical but it is something it is a natural chemical because I was being followed by a few things they've gone now look at that scene there look at that that's cheddar wood that's all cheddar wood over there I'll be over the top there once I've gone down the other side I'll be coming out over on the top of that hill and then making my way down into Cheddar. It's a stone seat. A lot of people will sit here and reflect, I suspect. Which is what I'm going to do. My bag doesn't really feel too bad, but I'm going to take it off. Just leave that there a minute. There's my Sony. I'm 
managed to get it in that time. Just take the bag off for a sec. We haven't got a hill to climb yet until in a minute we'll be going near the quarry skirting a big lovely track as you can hear I can hear the road really well it's a very busy road this one it's a bypass of Axbridge this one and then we've got a very busy road coming down through that valley there there's carved out there's a road the Shipham to Cheddar Road and it's very very fast and it's full of quarry lorries laden with lots and lots of big rocks and stones and they move believe me there's some sort of nursing home down there and you can if I wanted to now I say I wanted to go to the reservoir now there's a way down in a minute I can walk down through this drove past that house big house that mansion come out by the road there there's a signpost right in the corner there and then I can join the reservoir if I wanted to I had thought of it but today I still want to try and do this bit here today so that's what I plan to do over and out this is Sheila on the 10th of May 2024 it's a spring day it's supposed to reach can reach 26 degrees so I don't know if it will here there is a breeze and it's welcoming and I'm sat on this really old stone overlooking this gorgeous view, everyone. And I feel blessed. I feel totally blessed. I feel healed to a certain extent. Uh, I can see a sparrow hawk flying above, down, not above me, but down there. I can see him. He's almost like one of those automatic planes being flown. He's now flying over the reservoir flapping his wings probably eating lots of gnats and mosquitoes as he goes and he could be looking for the odd fish to dive in to get good do he's coming back now coming back towards the big old house climbing up towards the wood <clears throat> now with my good sonies with the viewfinder, I would have bound home straight into him. You might see him again, yeah? <coughs> Over and out. Ah, turn it off. Once again, I forgot to press the button. So, since leaving Michael's seat and talking for a good solid five minutes about stuff, it's not, re it never recorded. Basically, I've said, I was just talking about how I normally approach what is Shoot Shelf Hill. And how I recorded Callow Drove in the past and Callow Hill. A hill that was taken by the quarry over the last few years. But once, once you came out of Callow Drove here, you could walk right across Callow Hill and it was beautiful, fantastic views. And I, and I thought it, that such a hill should never have been destroyed like that. You can imagine the ancients all gathering on top of that hill. I mean, they did do a few archaeological digs up there. They did do some trenches. <sighs> Said they never found anything. I think that hill was gorgeous. I'm glad I videoed it and got pictures of the trees that were up there. And it was such a place of peace and beauty. Now it's what bloody great hole. All carved up and scarred. <sighs> yeah. All carved up and scarred. There's somebody coming with a dog. <sighs> I 
the dog won't want to come near me it smells of spray yeah I got a feeling I went off at an angle through the wood Right, turn off for a minute. 